are you feeling the financial pressure like I am? Watch this video because I'm going to be showing you why Vietnam, Vietnam, if you are looking for an alternative lifestyle, comparable but way cheaper, is the perfect alternative. I embarked on my journey three years ago when we had the first market crash. And oh my gosh, I was financially devastated. I lost one third of my wealth. My, both my children were in college. I could no longer afford the lifestyle that I had. So I had to go and find a cheaper lifestyle in order to keep my children in college. After three years of traveling, I can tell you why Da Nang, Vietnam is the perfect pick in terms of quality of life that I have in the U.S. and quality of life that you live in Vietnam for pennies on the dollar. I am constantly looking for cheap way to live. If you want to be notified when I make a new video and make new discoveries, hit that like and subscribe button. Let's go to Da Nang! <laughs> Da Nang is a coastal city in central Vietnam and is the largest city in the region. Da Nang is the leading industrial center of central Vietnam. It has a population estimating 1 million inhabitants by 2014, with migration being the dominant factor in the city's population growth. This will amaze you. The cost of hotel rooms and apartments with kitchen starts from $13 a night. When I'm in Vietnam, I stay at the Tidal Hotel and Apartments. Fully equipped kitchen, washing machine, great view, and a really nice management company for only $16 a night. One thing I love is all the rooms came with housekeeping. When I went to take the crab, sometimes I would tip them a little more because I was like, this can't be right. 30 cents to go like three miles on a grab. They had a lot of supermarkets in Vietnam. My favorite thing when I stroll through the supermarket is the ability to get really fresh meat, fresh seafood yet again for pennies on the dollar i love to go to the regular street market to get my fresh fruits and vegetables in terms of healthcare, i did my yearly checkup i did a ct i did an ultrasound i did full blood works got my prescription saw the eye doctor total cost less than 200 dollars wow most medications from the pharmacist does not require a prescription. Can I get my teeth cleaned? Went to the dentist to get my teeth cleaned. Got my teeth cleaned for $5. The gym prices I felt was a little high. However, with the beaches, there was so many places to run along the beach, along the intercostal, and it's all free. <laughs> Amazing. In terms of walkability and safety, <laughs> Da Nang truly has so much to offer. When I'm in Da Nang, you can run along the beach side for miles and miles at a time. Or you can take that same stretch and go up the mountains as you greet the sunrise. As a solo traveler, I felt extremely safe in Da Nang. United States Embassy has Da Nang at a category one, which is exercise normal precaution. I found everyone to be so super friendly, really welcoming and such a strong sense of community. I felt as if I've always lived here. What about activities? Let's talk about activities. But before we go into activities, just a reminder, I have some fabulous tips at the end of the video that you would want to know before considering going to Da Nang. There is so much to do in Da Nang. I'm going to try to wrap this up real quick for you. I love my food fresh. 
So when I saw this fresh seafood restaurant, totally amazing. Do you go, you select your seafood. I mean, rare fishes, lobsters, heels, snails, you name it. And they cook it for you right there. Did I say amazing? Oops, I'm repeating myself. If that doesn't appeal to you, stop by any street vendor. They are so accommodating and I just love them. Maybe you like to shop. There are numerous unique handmade bags, jewelry. You will not get bored. Okay, maybe eating and shopping is not your thing. Let's go right into other activities that can be done. Banana Hills. Banana Hills is a popular park, which is about 45 minutes drive from Dana. It is part of the Sun World Amusement Park, also coined Heaven and Earth, which is 1,487 meters above sea level. That was a trip. When you're at Banana Hills, don't forget, go over to the Golden Bridge, which is part of Sun World, and you will find that a lot of photographs were taken at that location. The Golden Bridge was opened in 2018, and the bridge became popular because of the unique design, which you will see, which is two gigantic moss-covered hands holding up a golden walkway amidst the clouds. You will hear a lot about Marble Mountain. Marble Mountain is a group of five limestone peaks situated seven kilometers from Denam. It really blends harmoniously with nature. It is home to a network of caves, tunnels, towers, and pagodas built by the Mahayan Buddhist and the Nujin Dynasty kings. My Sun Ruins, which was built between the fourth and 13th century is a unique culture which is owed to its spiritual origins to the Indian Hinduism developed on the coast of the contemporary Vietnam. We now go to the Cham Island. The Cham Island offers tourists a lot of interesting experience thanks to its stunning natural and cultural attraction. It is located in Huan City, Huanam Province. Two of my favorite museums are the Da Nang Fine Arts Museum, which displays paintings, sculptures, ceramics, and more in a modern space with a wonderful cafe. I also enjoyed going to the Da Nang History Museum, which has over 2,500 artifacts and photos. Take a day trip out to Hue Town. You might just stay there. It is such a beautiful, tranquil spot. A major attraction is its 19th century Dianoyu Citadel, surrounded by a moat and thick stone walls. I don't know about you, but I love a hot spring. You will find a newer Than Taya hot spring park. Simply amazing. So many saunas, steam rooms, hot spring. They even have a Japanese hot spray, the Hun Sin. While chilling in Da Nang, grab an ice cream and go and take a ride on the Ferris wheel. The amusement park features rides plus activities, food, architecture from various Asian countries. Now, if you want to take another trip, which really is just 30 minutes outside of Da Nang, but there's so much to do there, check out the Hoan town. It's an ancient town. You will feel as if you totally went into another world. The Owen ancient town still has its own distinct beauty lying in every street corner, every roof, and even the small streets. This place has an ancient grace with features that cannot be found anywhere else. You can go along the Hoan River, which is a tributary of the Tho Bong River, which flows across the Hoan City and connects to other tourist attractions. You know you gotta do some shopping when you're in Hoan. Stop by the Hoan Central Market. Unlike the calmness and tranquility you feel in the old town of Hoan, it has a distinct highlight of the ancient town attracting a large number of tourists. Tips. What do you need to know? before embarking on your journey to Vietnam. In matters of phone chip and Wi-Fi, I use a Viettel when I'm there. With a Viettel, it is very easy to add Wi-Fi credits. I also found it's best to go to the Viettel stores that are more remote areas. This cuts down tremendously on the wait time. 
For transportation, I use the Grab. And I find that I install the Grab app once I hit Asia. I use my American phone number in order to activate it. And I find that when I go from one country to the next to the next, the Grab automatically adjusts itself. Now, Vietnam, as opposed to the other parts of Asia, their ATM charges are a little steep. So I recommend that you get at least two credit cards that have no international fees, and of course, no annual fees, if possible. Bring cash with you. Bearing in mind, any cash in excess of 5,000 US dollars has to be declared at the airport. Let's talk weather. This caught me by surprise. From February to May and then August to October, it is undoubtedly the best time to visit Da Nang. July to September are often the wettest months of the year. And when it rains in Da Nang, it rains. It can sometimes go like all week, just raining. Dress code. In Da Nang, if you're in the city, it's okay to dress a little provocatively. When leaving the city, of Da Nang to go more remote areas, it is always strongly recommended dress conservatively. Last, but by far not least, we talk about visa. For many Western countries, including the United States, the visa on arrival is not an option. This means you need to obtain your visa before traveling. My first time to Vietnam from Thailand, I lost my flight and my reservations because I did not know this. It takes at least five business days to get your visa processed. The United States Embassy has numerous consular service events in Da Nang right through the year. I love to change my scenery. So for my last trip to Asia, I stayed for two years without getting any residency in any country. I'm going to be making a video about that, by the way, just in case you want to watch it to see how easy and enjoyable that was. Now. Hit that subscribe button now so you will be notified when I make new discoveries.